Just before we get into the video, go and follow my Twitter and follow my Instagram. I never plug it on this channel and I want more followers and you get to see cool pictures of my motorbike. So go follow me. Thank you. How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Around a month or so ago, I made a video talking about why I thought Forza Horizon 4 was dying in the current stage that it was at. Kind of gave my opinions and thoughts of what the, what the current stage of the game is, where it's going to go in the future, and quite happily at the moment, I can say that I don't think Forza Horizon 4 is dead at all. I think that the second expansion has helped massively in reviving the game, giving people lots more things to do, whether you're an advanced player or whether you're a beginner a player. I think Expansion 2 plus all the new features that they've been adding, they've been going crazy with it. I think Forza Horizon 4 is currently doing pretty well, which kind of relates to the topic of today's video, where I'm going to be talking about 10 things, whether that's features, updates, additions, that I think at some point within the Forza Horizon 4 lifespan will be added. Now none of this is confirmed, a few bits might be, but this is just in my opinion some of the things I think that will be added to the game over the next year or so, however long of the lifespan is of this game is left, I'm going to be telling you all of the things that I think may be added. As we actually know, Forza Horizon 5 probably isn't coming until the year 2021, which means logically they're not going to start working on it, working on it until next year. Forza Motorsport 8 is only just being started as well. So technically, we could have, from this today's upload, we could have around a year left of pure Horizon 4 content from the developers. Bearing in mind the game's only been out for about 8 or 9 months, that is, we're not, probably not even halfway into Horizon 4's lifespan. That's another reason I think all the stuff I'm going to say is highly possible. We are nowhere near finished. We've got a long way and there's lots of features and lots of things that could be added and these are what I think we're going to get. So I'm going to get the main kind of obvious one out of the way first, which as you just saw, is more expansions, or expansion 3, I would say. Game's been out for 7-8 months, as I said, and we've received two major expansions. If the game is really going to be continuously updated, like Motorsport 7 has, for another year, around that anyway, it would make sense for us to get another expansion at some point. Now, I do not think this expansion will be free for anyone. I think it will be not be included in the expansion pass or the car pass or anything because that was only two promised expansions. You may have seen months and months ago now I made videos that technically a third expansion is somewhat confirmed. They've said it themselves that they're looking to do more than just two expansions this year, probably because they've got a lot more time, double the amount of time. So at some point within the next year or however long Forza Horizon 4 is going to be updated for, I think we'll see a third major, maybe even a fourth major expansion added to the game. This one's a little bit weird to word and a little bit weird to explain, but I think you'll understand it. I think they'll continue to add features and additions to the game at which you rank up, you make progress to. For example, the festival playlist is sort of a new addition and you sort of have to rank that up and get the percentage up each month and put progress towards it. Before that, if you were, high, if you were a high level, you never really had anything to level up. And they've also just recently added this star card edition as well. This is another thing that you can kind of work towards, progress and rank up. Now over time people will have completed most of the star cards, the festival playlists will probably get a bit repetitive, um, which is why I think that some point down the line they'll add even more ways to rank up, whether that's ranking up cars, ranking up your level differently, but we need more of that. To keep Horizon 4 alive we need more things that require progression to keep levelling up such as the Star Card and Festival playlist, which are brilliant additions and working really well so far, but I don't think will last for the next year. Next one's a little one, but I think could turn into something quite big, as you just read, Root Creator improvements. We've not really heard much about the Root Creator at all since it was released. Now this is either a really bad thing or a really good thing. Lots of people, I, I like the root creator because it's different, we've never had it before, but there's still something missing from it and I think that's the ability to make your roots just a little bit more better with props and stuff like that, and maybe some jumps and different starting points. They have actually mentioned that they were possibly going to work, possible for your roots to start anywhere instead of just the fixed race routes. So maybe they're looking to do some improvements already. We may get some big root creator additions as surprises 
over the next however long. Next up is one that's quite a controversial topic, or not really controversial, but things that get gets people's sensitive spots tingling, is the car manufacturers that are not currently in the game. For example, Toyota, Lexus, Tesla, stuff like that. Quite a lot of car manufacturers which aren't actually in Horizon anymore. We haven't got Toyota and Lexus and Tesla as everything, as I just said, and because Forza Horizon 4's lifespan is gonna be a lot longer than before, Mitsubishi returned, I think it's possible, not confirmed whatsoever, but it's possible Toyota, Lexus or Tesla or anything else could possibly return. I think I've read somewhere that Toyota have had like an exclusive license deal with I think Gran Turismo, don't quote me on that, but apparently that's coming to an end soon, so it would make sense for once it's ended for Forza to get it back or for Forza to make a deal and get the Toyota cars back in the game. The next one is also one that gets people's sensitive spots tingling to be honest, car sounds. I mean, the amount of complaints that people have put in about the car sounds of this game, and to be honest, they have added the odd new sound, they've fixed the odd bit, but as I've said a few months ago, I made a video on this, I'm still expecting a car sound update at some point. I mean, I think Playground Games do listen to us pretty well, so the main thing that we ask for is better car sounds. I'll be very surprised if at some point we don't receive even just a minor car sound update to fix the duplicate sounds or the previously good ones that have turned into bad ones. I'll be surprised if we don't get that fixed, but I don't know, it's just such a big thing that we request and we've heard nothing about, and I think there's a reason we've heard nothing about it. Maybe they're working on something. This is also something that's definitely not confirmed in any way, but with the amount of time Horizon 4 has left, they might do something about it, surely. Doesn't hurt to. Next one is a bit of a general one, as you saw. It's just basically more customization options. In the past, we have received more customization options. We've been given more rims. We've been given the, the painting, advanced painting kind of stuffs. And we know that Playground Games are interested in this type of stuff because they've mentioned the brake caliber painting that they wanted to do, but they found out it was a bit too hard. I think they've they heard about the window stickers that we were requesting for, but they said that's a bit too difficult as well. Um, I'm expecting more body kits because we're continuously getting body kits since release, so we'll get keep getting more body kits, definitely. Customization is a big thing in racing games, and Playground Games seem to be quite interested in it, as I've said, so yeah, I think gradually bit by bit maybe some big things every now and then we'll continue to get more customization added and added and added to the game now this one's a bit of a side one it's not really something that's going to be added but something that's going to be kind of backed up on if that makes sense as you all know Back when the game was released, there was a fastest car in the game. A month later, there was a new fastest car. A month after that, there was another new fastest car. Up until now, there's always been a new car taking the space for the fastest car accelerating, for example. The fastest car in the game right now is the Rimac slash that Ford Shelby. It is so incredibly fast, I can't imagine that they will bring out many faster cars than this from now on. I think from now on, we may get a car that just slightly beats the Rimac and the Shelby, but I think after that, I think that's it. I don't think we're going to get many more insanely fast accelerating cars because they're just getting too fast. That Rimac is absolutely ridiculous, and so is all the other ones that are even close. So as unfortunate it is to say, I think from now on, for the rest of the game, I don't think we're going to get many more unbelievable cars that take the number one spot for the fastest accelerating car. Now this one, I don't think many people are going to expect this, and I'm going to give you my reasons why I might expect this myself, and that is removing car parts and using the convertible cars as well. We see a lot of people complain that there are a lot of convertibles in the game, like spiders and stuff like that, that you can't use as the convertible, which is very weird. But the think simple thing is, it is already coded in the game to drive these cars as convertibles which is why I think at some point they will add the feature to drive cars as convertibles in their convertible form. And the other thing is removing car parts. Now, by removing car parts, I mean stuff like removing the, 
the hood so you can see the engine possibly removing the rear bumper and stuff like that that might take a lot more work than just the hood but back when i used to play the forza horizon 3 dev build you could you could do this easily you could go into the menu you could turn off the hood and you'd be driving around with the a car with the engine exposed and it looked awesome but yeah it's stuff that's already in the game it doesn't take much work i don't think so yeah i think we may see that at some point Next up is more mad cars. As I said in another point, I think they're going to hold back from adding ridiculously accelerating cars or adding cars that can be upgraded to be ridiculously accelerating is what I actually mean. But recently they've kind of been adding weird stuff, like we got the tractor, which is very bizarre. And then they've technically coded into the game the ability to drive the truck, which they haven't given us as a car because it's too big, which isn't really an excuse. I think we'll get the truck eventually. But the tractor, the truck, they really seem quite interested in adding all these bizarre vehicles. So at some point over the next however long, as I keep saying, I think it's on the table to expect some more crazy weird cars like this. Possibly even a bus, the truck that I mentioned. People enjoy driving them. They're just so weird and bizarre. Even I enjoy driving them. I don't think they'll make them drivable in races. Definitely not. They'll, they'll maybe just be free roam only and maybe no contact with them possibly, but I think we can expect, which will be pretty cool. And one of the last and final things that I'm expecting is festival playlist changes. Now changes, what I mean by that is different things to do on festival playlist. At the moment, it's kind of the same thing over and over again. You get championships to do, you get the seasonal PR stunts to do, and then you get maybe the online adventure and the Horizon story if there is one and a, and a showcase remix from time to time. But if you think about it, if we're going to get a new festival playlist every single month, I think it's only going to take a few more months for the festival playlist to get very repetitive because it's the same thing over and over again. I think to the festival playlist they'll add different ways to rank up your percentage. The Lego challenges are challenges that we've never seen before like smashing 10 of these items in 5 minutes or whatever or going from here to here on the map in 55 seconds. These challenges I actually enjoy because they're always so different, they're always actually sort of difficult to do but they're also fun at the same time. Now, I don't know if they'll add stuff exactly like that to Festival Playlist, but to the Festival Playlist, it needs something different added to rank up the percentage. Instead of just doing this championship this week and then, oh, this week do this championship instead, it gets a bit repetitive. So I think they're going to change that up a bit. To be honest, in this video, I kind of covered every single aspect of the game. Customization, cars, all the features, expansions, and I basically... I personally think that every single aspect of the game will get an update at some point. I'll say again, none of this is confirmed whatsoever. I'm not going to leave this video dragging on for too long, so let me know in the comment section below which one of these 10 things you want most, or which, which ones of these several things. I think most of you are going to say Toyota, to be honest. But anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.